Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing an update to the products that I am trying to use up and I'm not done with the original list but I only had a couple of things so I thought I would do the update video now and I am going to, I had mentioned this before uh, in one of the earlier videos, I am going to, to take a break from uh, the products that I'm trying to use up just because when I do these types of videos I like to do, I like to pull uh, makeup products from every makeup category so that could, that's starting with the face primer all the way to a uh, setting spray and um when i do that it just i tend to forget about all my other makeup products and i just want to take a break and do more of a variety instead of sticking to the one list that I, to the list of products that i'm trying to use up so uh let's get started the first thing was a face primer and this is the monostat complete care chafing relief powder gel and a lot of people love this product they think they compare it to the photo smashbox photo ready uh is it photo ready i think so uh, that you know the the silicone feeling uh, primer and I just did not love this I felt like it didn't really fill in my pores and my makeup didn't last longer so I wouldn't get this again I'm looking for a primer that uh, makes my foundation last all day and fills in the pores in my t-zone which they're gotten so big lately Okay, next was the Jack Black Lip Balm, and I love this product. I highly recommend it, especially the grapefruit flavor. I did cut this open. There was so much of it left, and what I did have left in there, I put into a little pot, which I love to do when I get near the end of something. Um, so I put it in here, and I'm going to mention another product that I had on my list, which was a Clinique. It was a duo um, once I had the gloss, which I'm not a fan of gloss, and so I had taken the gloss out just because I wasn't using it, and it just, gloss is not one of the things that I am probably ever going to finish up, but I did put, uh, I did finish the lipstick, and what, even when you think you're done, you're not really done because you could dig into there, and I, I, I like to do that with lipstick colors that I do, um, I do like, that made no sense. I will, if I really like a product, I will try to get all of it out. And so what I did was I mixed the uh, lip balm and the lip product, and that's what I'm wearing now. And it gives just this beautiful color and keeps my lips moisturized because it does have the lip balm in it. So I highly recommend doing that. It just uh, makes it so much easier to finish up lip products that way. Next is... Uh, next was foundations and I had several that I finished up. I had mixed together, which I don't have the first one here. The Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay. I'm looking at my list here. Um, I'm, I mixed together the Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay and L'Oreal True Match, which I did have the L'Oreal True Match. I think the, the Maybelline one was too dark and this was a little too light. So I mixed, together and I mixed them together and I really liked how that came out. Then I had the sample of... Where is it? I don't know what happened. I just had it. It was the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sample. And I liked that foundation. It was in the color Tawny. I felt it was a little too dark. So I had gotten a full size. Uh, because I do like that foundation in sand. Uh, then I finished the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. Which comes in a container that looks like this i have another foundation in here so when i mention that um i'm gonna take a break from this type of video or this type of project i am still gonna pull out some things that i want to finish up especially cream products and foundation this in here oh well so this was the maybelline dream matte mousse and i have put in here the etude has precious mineral bb cream which is a which is the foundation that i'm wearing now and I love that foundation, so I am trying to finish it up, but I do like it. So products in here aren't things that I do not like. I just want to finish them up. Uh, but this container is really good. And that, the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse Foundation, I really like it, but it's kind of messy to use. And it just, I'm trying to find things that are easy to use, and that one could get very messy. Next, I had the Pixi Correction Concealer Brightening Peach, and I had taken that out just because I had a few concealers, a couple concealers in here, and I just did not want to take the extra time to, after I put my concealer, to put 
a brightener. So I'm trying to not be so rigid about certain makeup products, but a brightener is just something that I'm having trouble using in my everyday makeup, so I'm going to try harder. Uh, then I had the Smashbox Photo Ready Concealer. I took that out as well um, just because I... So this is what it looks like. Oh, but I, I finished it. Uh-oh, I had a typo, I guess. And I don't know what that was about. I did finish it. It was good for all over the face. I really like that concealer, um, but I have other ones that I like a lot better, so I wouldn't repurchase that one. I don't even know if they make it. It's so old. Uh, then I had a couple of Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse concealers in here, and... So I finished them all up. Hopefully you could see that it's done. And if you are wondering which color to get, I would, if you have a yellow undertone, I would get the one that says beige and then whatever, um, they have light, medium, and dark, I believe. I would get the beige if you're warm. And then if you're cool, I would get the one that says cream. Uh, like I said, I do like these, the Maybelline Dream Matte, uh, Maybelline Dream Mousse products but they tend to what happens is when you use it they tend to roll up into little balls and you it could, like I said it just gets messy uh then we have powders and I somebody had mentioned this in one of the comments um I go through face powders like really really quickly I don't know why uh, maybe that means I've done too much but I just I like face powders I feel like it really sets my makeup and I I like uh, full coverage um, makeup and it's just, I don't know, I just go through them really quickly. So the first thing, first product here is the Avon um, Incredible Finish Press Powder. I did like this product. Um, it was a natural beige and I don't, I can't really, I guess, complain about face powders. I, I feel like they're a pretty easy product to use and maybe that's another reason why I go through them so quickly. Uh, this is the Mineralized Mac, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, and I had the color Medium Plus. It was always a little too dark, but I don't know. I just, I used it up. There wasn't that much to use at this point um, when I started using it because I did use it a lot a while back, and then I just stopped using it. Then the last, the last powder uh, foundation that I have is the Maybelline Fit Me, and this was also natural beige, and I used all that up. Uh, one of the, so I had mentioned the lip products. I didn't finish that, but I'm almost on my way. And then the other product that I'm almost done with is the Maybelline Brow Drama in Deep Brown. And I do like this. I used it today. Uh, I just think, though, that a pencil, I don't know, I like the pencil format the best. So I'm trying to go through the other eyebrow products that I have. I feel like this is a good finishing product, though, to set your brows. Then I had the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I had mixed together a bunch of samples that I got in, which I didn't think was a bad idea. It changed the formula. I have put in here Original Eden and Anti-Aging, and I think that was just a bad move. It turned the product kind of weird, and at some point it got too old, and it just was, when I put it on my eye, I it just wasn't spreading right, and so I stopped using it. I did get almost down to... Just, there was just a little bit left that I just couldn't use. Then another product that I took out was the Revlon Photo Ready Coral Reef Blush. And that blush is gorgeous. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it because it is. Oh, here it is. So it looks like this. And this color is beautiful. I took it out because, and this kind of turns into a powder, which... You know what? I'm going to pull this out so I could use it again because it is so gorgeous. It makes your face look, I want to say glowing. It's just so beautiful. Here's the color. And it does turn from a cream to a powder. So I don't know why I took it out. I guess I just didn't want to have two blushes. The other blush that I had was the NYX blush in Pinky. And I finished that up. It was a really pretty bright pink color, but I had tons of blushes and I just picked this one to finish up. And it's, I think this is the old packaging. I don't know if you can get it anymore. Uh, then I had the Estee Lauder Signature Gold Pearl, which was a gift, free gift for purchase. And I think that Clinique lip product it was a free gift for purchase as well. And that lip color was Tender Heart, if, you're, if you could find it. It's a beautiful lip color. 
finished all this up. This was a struggle too. I used this for um, highlight, of course. I put on my Cupid's bow. I made eye makeup. Um, it took a while to finish up. And then I had the crew cargo blue bronzer. At one point it broke, uh, but I did finish that up, and I used this even for eye makeup as well. It was it made a really pretty uh, crease color. I had uh, mascaras. I finished the Makeup Forever. This is the Smoky Extravagant. I probably wouldn't get it. Didn't hold a curl. Uh, then I had the Elf Waterproof Mascara Top Coat. Now I think this turned because every time I used it, I, my eyes would itch, so I when i realized that it was this product um i i stopped using it and it was only whenever i used this and i felt bad because um well not bad but i kind of was upset just because um i do like this product but it just i don't know my eyes are super duper sensitive so it didn't work out then here is a jordana best slash extreme volumized mascara i do like this mascara it gives me great volume but it doesn't hold my curl Jordana please come out with a waterproof one so I can wear this and I do like this formula so if you have a curl already in your lashes and you're just looking for a really great volume this is a good one then I had the Ico liner and the NYX eyeliner and I actually had to stop using both because they just got too old and so what I'm doing now is I have my makeup set up and I have all of my eyeliners which are not a lot anymore because I've tried to go, go through them um, I have it here so that I know to use and to make sure to use it because if I don't see it I'm not gonna use it uh, then I have the body shop blotting papers which they were Oh, here they are. And the packaging is, I'm so embarrassed to show you. Look at how old this product is. But I was able to finish that up. And I'm, I like the idea of blotting papers, but I just never forget. It's uh, one of those, I never remember to use it. It's just one of those steps that is extra. And you guys know how I am with extra steps. I just forget. Or I don't want to do it. And then the last thing was the Smashbox Limitless Eyeliner in Onyx. I really like this eyeliner, um, but I couldn't get it. And I what I what I even did was I pulled out the rest and used it kind of as a base because I liked it so much. It's a pretty good eyeliner. And um, if I didn't have like the Jordana ones that I love, which are only like about $2.99 each, I would definitely repurchase this, but it is on the pricier side. Okay, so that is the uh, products that I'm using up. Um, like I said, I have two products on this list that I am not done with yet, but I'm on my way, or actually it's three products the Jack Black lip balm that I mixed together with the Clinique lipstick and the Maybelline brow drama but those are going to be done in no time and I'm glad to see the end of this products that I'm using up this round it seemed to, to drag on for a really long time and that's why I'm taking a break from it because all my other makeup was getting neglected let me know what products you've had a hard time trying to finish up and I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon Bye.